Hi. Hello. Uh, my name is Rona. I'm Marit and we're Marit and Rona. And this is the third time we're trying to film this video for um, the British Folk Club. <laughs> so we're getting slightly hysterical, but um, we're very happy to be here. We're here in our living room in, in Edinburgh. So. Yeah. yeah, and we're going to play some three um, three sets for you. But the first And the first one is To Push To Be A, um, about climbing hills, which you're not allowed to do currently, and being a seagull which must be very fun to be currently, as nobody is um, <laughs> interrupting your daily life. They don't get to eat hot dog stall. No, true, true. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Enjoy. <laughs> continue now with um, some jigs. Um, Marit's going to change instrument. Currently she's playing the Loat Mandola, which is a wonderful instrument from Sweden. Um, but you're going to... Nordic, Nordic, Nordic Mandola. Mandola. Um, I'm going to change to the drastically different Citroen. <laughs> um, it's also from Sweden and actually turned green because it's so humid when she moved to Scotland. Um, but she has no pick apparently. Ah, got it. Okay. <laughs> Um, so this is um, two sure. jigs. Yeah, well, These are kind of. The first one we play as a jig, and I guess it's a jig now, but mm -hmm. we actually learned it um, together with some uh, friends uh, called the Cosmos Trio, mm -hmm. uh, who we did a residence with a couple of years ago in Caithness. And they're really into Balkan music, and this mm -hmm. is actually a Bulgarian tune, and it's not a jig at all. Um, and we spent like hours and hours learning kind of the authentic Bulgarian way of uh, of playing it, and then we just decided we liked it 
more celtic -y. Yeah, they basically <laughs> just turn it into like an Irish tune or something. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, it's a Bulgarian tune, but now I'm turning into a jig. And then we're going into a, a Galician jig. That is the, what's the piper's name? Um, Jose Manuel. So the piper. Yeah. Anyway, Galician <laughs> piper's tune. Uh, we changed the key a little bit, but yeah. So these are two non-Scottish tunes. Sc played Scottishy. It's played Scottishy, I suppose. Okay. A technical terminology. Yes. <laughs> final set um, and this is kind of a made up walking song uh, before yeah. before we tell oh, you about the song thank you. we would like to say a huge thank you to Jack uh, Evans who asked us to do this thank you so much it's, it's an honour yeah we're pretty like yeah we're absolutely delighted 
um, really honoured to be um, asked to do this. We think it's a brilliant idea. I hope that yes. other um, venues and um, gigs take up this idea um, to have people yeah, play Yeah, and for we them. hope that you're all safe and healthy and yeah. we hope to see you in real life once this is all over. Absolutely. Not before. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, this last song, it's uh, we just call it Estonia. And uh, a couple of years ago, we were playing in a... Um, Estonian Folk Festival. I have a lot of friends in Estonia. And um, uh, Estonia is, is really fascinating country, I think. Uh, they had a singing revolution. If you're looking for something to watch during the quarantine, then look at Singing Revolution. It's um, it's a film about Estonia's singing revolution. It's really fascinating stuff. Anyway, they have this type of song called a regi laul, which means talk sing. And it's quite, I think, similar in some ways to a walking song. So... Uh, so anyway, so we were playing at this festival and about a week before we were due to go, my friend sent me a message on Facebook <laughs> being like, so have you learned compulsory song yet? And I'm like, compulsory song? And I thought, well, it's a festival. Maybe, maybe it's a Rami at the end you know? of the gig. You and know? she's like, no, for the competition. I'm like, competition? <laughs> well, it turns out she hadn't explained exactly what we were doing <laughs> at this festival. And... Uh, yeah, we were actually entered into an Estonian folk song competition, of course. And she goes, yeah, yeah, so you will learn compulsory song and Rona will sing in her own language, yeah? Okay, so it turns out this competition is a um, really cool like competition, actually. But it was the concept was everyone, every act, it was about 30 of them, had to um, use the same song. They'd choose a different song from the archives every year and have a, to do a version of this song this is so it was the most unbelievable like um spread of of acts on the gig so there would be like maybe like a community group maybe something that's a bit like a fish for instance and then there would be like your community metal singing choir and then your professional free jazz musicians and everything in between and yes. and us clearly singing it in Gaelic because that was exactly what the cherry on the, was needed to be on the top of this amazing <laughs> cake so yeah so we turned this song kind of into a type of what we Rona did <laughs> into a type of I guess a walking song and yeah it's great and yeah we we walked away with a massive oversized check of 500 euro. So pretty chuffed at that. Pretty chuffed, yes. So let's go for it. Um, this, sing this, along if you like. Yeah, this song is about where the songs are from. Um, in Estonia, the songs come from Riga and uh, Stork. And in Scotland, they come from Isla and a Heron. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Yeah. No one above my bad can mule Oh, he you, oh, he here you go. Ye move a hair Oh, he you, oh, he here you go. Ye move a hair He you, oh, he here you go. Avocore, core, He you, oh, he here Thank you. 